Now, there is no body that can be in um, two geopolitical zones at the same time. You cannot. You can only be in one geopolitical zone at the same time. You cannot come from two local governments at one time. You have to choose the one or the other. Even if your mother is from uh, Akukuto local government area and your father is from uh, Asalga, um, Asarito local government area, you cannot say you're from both local government area when you're filling forms or whatever the case may be. Uh, so you have to um, come from one place or the other. And so that your, um, your loyalty is not, uh, is not divided. Your input is not divided. The survivor today, the survivor of each and every ethnic nationality in Nigeria is key. Don't let anybody tell you that because you're a gi, for instance, and therefore you're small, and therefore you don't matter. No, it's not true. You matter. That you're from um, um, Delga, and um, somebody else is from um, uh, Ahoda East, that uh, Ahoda East is more important than Delga. No, we're all equal. And so it is very, um, very important that we are focused on the issue of identity. The, the issue of identity is to emphasize, not that you don't know who you are, but is to stand up for whom you are. Who are you? I am Ankyo Briggs. Where are you from? I'm from Abonima. Abonima is in Akukutoro local government area. Akukutoro is in River State. My ethnic nationality is Ijo. Full stop. The other person, his name is an Ogoni man from uh, one of the Ogoni local government area. He is whoever he is. He is from River State. He is equal shareholder with the Ijo man and with the Ukwere man. These are the paths that we must take. Because this is what the people who have oppressed us have been doing. Now, when somebody comes out and says, I will create security outfit in River State, and you're not from River State, why do you want to create a security outfit in River State? You're, you're feeling insecure, obviously. Well, if you're in my state and you're feeling insecure, I want to advise you that if you cannot feel secure in my state, you must find a way to go back to your state where obviously you will feel secure. If you think my state cannot secure you, then I, I really do not see the point why you should now get up and create your own security outfit. When I, in River State, am not allowed by the law to create my own security outfit, which law are you using? to come and create your own security outfit in my state and in my region. But when that came out, the very people, you, you see, we must be very focused to see what is happening and read between the lines and understand what is happening. The, there are people who have perfected the art of distracting our people politically, socially, economically, in every way, that our people are distracted. We can't multitask. We must be able to multitask. Multitasking is not just in your home. You must be able to multitask in politics. When you are do holding on to something and another issue arises, you cannot and must not drop that issue and go chasing after the second issue that has been thrown at you to distract you. And that's why it's very difficult to distract me. If we are saying that it is turn by turn in politics of governance, either at state level or at national level, and you say that um, it is either north or south. And the north has three zones, the south has three zones. And the north has governed for eight years. And it is coming to the south. It should not be the responsibility or the business 
of anybody from the north, though I don't care about the political party, to influence who is going to come from the south. The south should be able to work that out for themselves, and it's very simple. For instance, Obasanjo have governed for eight years. Um, Yaradua governed from nine, uh, 2007 to, to 2009, 2010, sorry. Now, um, Jonathan took over and finished his, uh, the remaining tenure, and he was elected. He did four years. Add the other one to it. That's five years. He did five years. He didn't do six years. People go to school. Anybody that says Jonathan did six years, please, you need to go and look at your uh, one, two, three again, please. Now, if that be the case, if the Yoruba have done eight years and Jonathan have done six years, uh, five, sorry, five years. I accept that there is three years remaining. Now, if we come for another election, nobody in the South, our plan, our position should not be interfered with. The only people that have not governed by election are the Igbo people. Now, the Igbo people have a right to go for the uh, presidency of Nigeria come 2020. Now, let me not be mistaken, please. Personally, I'm not interested in who becomes the president of Nigeria. And I don't want my people to be interested. I do not buy into this idea that the South South under Jonathan did five years. Therefore, somebody somewhere is owing us three years. Nobody is owing us three years. That's my own opinion, and that's what I am driving. We're not owed three years. We are owed self-determination. That is what we are owed, self-determination, and that's what I'm focused on. But if for any reason we find ourselves in a position where we have to run a 2023 presidential election, first of all, if that election is going to be run under the 1999 constitution with no changes to the constitution then again in my opinion it is a waste of time and my my strategy and the strategy that the um, niger data self-determination is pursuing is that it is not our interest and should not be our interest who becomes the president of Nigeria. But if the people of Igbo, the Ndibo, want to take the slot, and I believe that they have a right and a claim to it, then I, this is my one vote, and the vote of any other person that will agree with my thinking should go to the Igbo people. Because um, Yaradua, unfortunately, did not complete his tenure, but he governed. And uh, Buhari have governed for eight years. If you add that eight years to the one that Yaradua did not finish, the whole of the north of the three geopolitical zones have governed more than the south. Because... Obasanjo did eight, and Jonathan, um, Jonathan did um, four, and one that he finished for Yaradua. That, that, the, the tenure that Jonathan finished for Yaradua is not a Niger Delta tenure, because it is law. He was the vice president, and the constitution states very clearly that he will take over. He didn't take over on the slot of uh, Niger Delta people. He took over on the slot of that came to Yaradua. Very simple. Now, if that be the case, then the next election should go to the, the choosing of w which of the zones it goes to in the south should be a decision to be made by the South, by the three geopolitical zones. And if the Southwest and South-South is going to be fair amongst themselves, then there should be no argument 
at the uh, at the level of south south and south and south uh, southwest as to which of the zones the two the 2023 should go to it should go to ndibo so whether it is a pc whether it is a pdp they should choose uh, an indibo uh, candidate on both on both pan uh, political parties because that is just and that is fair so for me that is how <clears throat> i am looking at our future what our future is going to be like not that does not take away from the original and and continuous focus that there must be a change in nigeria and that change in nigeria is that either we're going to be just and fair and that justice and fairness should be that we must have political independence within Nigeria. What is, in my opinion, what is political independence? Political independence is that we must claim back federalism. What is federalism? Federalism is that Nigeria claims to be the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's not the unitary government of Nigeria. It's not the military government of Nigeria. It's not the northern government of Nigeria. It is the federal government of Nigeria. If it is the federal government of Nigeria, then we should be practicing federalism. We are not practicing federalism. That is why we have gone from screaming from, for federalism to calling for sovereign national conference to having constitutional conference to having uh, 2014 um, 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 con uh, no constitutional um, national conference to, um, to calling for resource ownership to calling for um, um, if you like um, state um, autonomy or to regional autonomy but today we have a Nigeria that is divided into 36 states of two uh, two, uh, two parts of Nigeria northern Nigeria, southern Nigeria I didn't create it it was created by politicians and the military or the military and politicians, whichever way, but we accepted it. So since we have accepted it, and we have had since 1999, when Obasanjo became uh, president and the military uh, left, we have 36 states, two, uh, three geopolitical zones on each of the north and south of Nigeria. To want to change it, to go back from where we are, is going to be very complicated, but it can be agreed on by the people. Now, the complication will come because people have their own states. When they have their own states, you cannot tell them to drop those states unless they choose to drop those states and they believe that it is in their interest. River State was created um, in the early 60s, just, uh, just before the war. And there is no Rivers man today that I know that you will tell that he should leave Rivers State and go into something else. Unless if you're going to give him a state of his own ethnic nationality. That is to say, unless you're going to say to Ikure man, we're going to give you Ikure State. Or you say to Goni man, we'll give you a Goni State. You can have a Goni State. Or Ijo man, you can have a... Ijo state that make make up all the nine and a half Ijo local government area in River State. Unless that is what you're going to do, if that's not what you're going to do, there is no reverse man that will agree with you that we should um, we should now not be River State again. So these are the options and these are the things that I personally I personally look at as someone who is agitating for 
what I believe is right for my people. Because I believe it does not, um, does not mean that everybody must key into it. It's just my um, organization's position on the issue of equity and justice in Nigeria. Now, the most critical and important thing that will give us a level of peace, a level to move forward, is this issue of self-determination. Self-determination. Because self-determination, even within Nigeria, is more or less like an independence that you're within Nigeria. Okay, I take note. But you're within Nigeria. So you take care of yourself. Now, when um, um, within this, uh, this COVID-19 um, issue, we have seen very clearly what states, that states have the capacity or rather, let me take that back. Some states have the capacity to do things for themselves. River State, my state, I'm so proud of River State. No state is perfect. We have our faults within our states. We will correct them. We must correct them. It's our state. We cannot destroy it. We definitely cannot allow strangers to come in under the, uh, the, uh, the pretext of politics. To come and destroy river state for us no so whatever issues we have in river state we must fix it before 2023 however we fix it it will be in our interest and for the future but we will not allow outsiders to come in or allow outsiders to use rivers people to destroy river state if you want to destroy River State as a rivers man, it, it will be better that you just leave River State alone and go to your friends, your newfound friends, and, and um, because they, they're your friends, they're not your blood, but that's your business. But we should not, we, we should have learned a lesson from 2015 to 2019. And no blood of any rivers man should be spilt because of another reverse man selfish political interest so as i round up what is it what is most important and it has kicked off with what happened in edo state it is very important that all the 23 local government in river state and the ethnic nationalities that make up this 23 local government First and foremost, realize that River State is the only state they have. Their ethnic nationality is the only ethnic nationality they have. And their local government and their community is the only one that they have. They can't come and take another man's own. But we, we should work together to firm up our state, secure our state, develop our state, and change our state for the better. We've made mistakes in our state. We should accept those mistakes and we should move forward with those mistakes. And I also want to mention, before I, um, I sign off, I also want to mention that um, every local government, every community owes itself the responsibility of securing itself. It's not when they say go to sleep, everybody go to sleep. Some people must be awake by turn to watch their local government and their community. What uh, the, uh, the, uh, the local government chairman, uh, Hopi Kriko, um, I, I read his, um, um, his statement and um, I support Hopi Kriko. I'm not from his local government, but I support him. He's my river's brother. And um, I support him by, for standing up for the local government that is, uh, that is under his care. And everybody in that local government um, should support, uh, support him. And every other local government should take a cue from what um, 
from what uh, hope uh, Ikriko has uh, ha has done and will um, and will continue um, and will continue to do. And yes, Niger Delta is a region, is a place. We belong to Niger Delta, and at that um, at that note, I, once again I say that um, our father Samuel Onaro should uh, Onari should rest in peace. We will continue what they started, and we shall overcome. Um, God bless everybody. God bless River State. God bless Niger Delta. God bless all my brothers and my sisters, and God bless the people who have the interest of um, River State at heart. We shall overcome. We have already overcome. Nobody is going to take over River State. It belongs to us. On that note, thank you very much, and um, have a wonderful week. And Hopefully, by God's grace, we shall gather again next week. Thank you very much. Bye.